Janet Davis and I work for Pembrokeshire College and I'm the STEP project officer. With me today is my colleague Emma James and Emma as another member of the team is the adult, one of the adult guidance mentors. Um, I'll just briefly describe what the project is about and hopefully during that it will become evident how we can help carers and how we do and then just a few moments on, on the partnership working that we're already undertaking with most people in the room actually. Um, so the STEP project, STEP stands for Supported Training and Education in Pembrokeshire and it's a funded project to provide training at community venues. Um, all the courses that we offer, with the exception of one or two very short taster sessions of about two hours, but all the courses offer nationally recognised qualifications. About 80% of them are OCN qualifications, so there's, there's no examination as such, but people do walk away with a qualification. And very often for, for some people in, um, in their 70s, it's possibly the first qualification they've ever gained. When they enrol, they don't think it's very important at all, but they're absolutely thrilled when, when the certificate arrives through the post. Um, so OCN qualifications allow people to, to build up a sort of portfolio of skills in, in a range of different areas. Um, the training is delivered across Pembrokeshire um, in lots of village halls, community centres, church halls, um, <coughs> resource centres, lots of different places. In the first year of activity we um, delivered courses at 39 different venues in Pembrokeshire. Um, it's in response to requests from communities and that can either be communities in terms of a village or uh, an area within a town or it can be a community of interest. Um, and by that I mean it can be um, a group of people who meet together for a social interest or a group of carers. Um, so we try, I'm not going to pretend that we can offer everything that anybody would ever throw at us, but the OCN portfolio of courses is very wide and broad and we have got quite a broad skill range available to us at the college, so mostly we're able to respond um, to what people ask for. We also have to be careful that we're not duplicating something that's already offered two miles down the road, so we do try wherever possible um, to ensure that, that it is something new for that particular area. Um, the idea of the project is to break down barriers to learning and introduce people to learning who wouldn't come and seek it out, maybe at the college or at a registered provider. Um, therefore, we've tried to build into the project the removal of most of the barriers that people would experience. The courses are free, that's the first barrier taken care of. Um, they're at locally accessible venue. We're able to cover the cost of care, so whether that's childcare or increasingly over the last few terms of the project, we've, we've been able to cover the cost of respite care, um, which has, has proved invaluable for, for a number of the people attending. And obviously we have got care workers, so we work in partnership with Crossroads in many cases um, to provide that respite care. So, um, the, where all the materials are provided, that's, that's the other situation, if it's a craft course, um, something like a sugar craft course for example, there is no requirement to go out and spend £70 on, on the kit to get started, um, everything is, is provided, so it, it, there should be no barrier, we know that there are other barriers, one of them is, is knowing about the course, one of them is the confidence to come along. So um, we're mindful of that and do everything we can to get the message across in a variety of different ways. Um, we produce a termly newsletter and we've got a few copies here. The last edition is, is this small little, little leaflet and it just highlights some of the work that we've been doing and um, highlights, showcases a few um, particularly particular cases of people who've made excellent progress or, or people who've got a little story to tell which we hope when people read it they can identify with and hook into and almost think well if she can do it possibly I can as well. Um, the range of courses at the moment um, go from um, well, they're, they're all, we hope, non-threatening, but they go from introductory craft-type courses, first aid, um, sugar craft, confidence building, and then up to um, the few level two courses, the course of mine that um, 
uh, Maxine mentioned a few moments ago. Um, that course is, is funded through the STEP project and is a slightly longer course in that it's 20 weeks and offers a level two qualification. Um, so there's a whole range um, of different things that we can do. I'm really delighted to look around the room and to know that for most of the organisations here, we're already doing something together. So what I would urge you to do is, if we're doing something with your organisation already, and something that I've said makes you think, oh, we could do that as well, be delighted to talk to you about it. If we don't work with you already, and Nordic Walking, I've just realised, is not one of the courses on our portfolio already, so I'd be interested to have some conversations later in the day. But, you know, if we already do something, and there's something else we can do, we'd be thrilled to hear from you. So thank you very much.